The Best Practice Explorer itself is utilized to see all of the best practices SAP accumulated over the years with regard to processes for all of our modules. So over here you can see first of all three separate sections. One is called Solution Packages where we can actually inspect information about the solution portfolio of SAP focused on SAP S4HANA for both cloud and on-premise. Then we have My Areas where we can actually save important information as favorites. And then we have two more pictures for useful links. Over here in the left upper corner, you can click on your user item to display your so-called S user. And also here on the right hand side, we can search for particular information. We can select our region language preferences. So our country and our default language. We can use the help icon, which is a link to the SAP help portal giving you even more information about the Best Practice Explorer. And we have those lines over here, which is the menu, where we can select another theme and also contact SAP directly. Now let's jump into the first section over here, which is the most important one, the solution packages. Over here, we can explore the whole portfolio of SAP, including 24 solution packages in my case. Let's actually open this. And here you can see all of the solution packages provided by SAP, including best practice information. We can even filter here. For instance, you can see SAP S4HANA. We can filter for on-premise versions, cloud, automation, and also for industry-specific best practices. Further down, you can even see a filter for line of businesses. So, but this we will see in a minute. Let's actually inspect now the best practices for SAP S4HANA as a representative case. So let's click on this one. And here you can see we are forwarded to the ZAP best practice says for SAP S4HANA. Currently we are in the version for Spain. We can change this version here to another country if required. And then you will see here four tabs, overview, solution scope, accelerators, and find out more. So on the overview, we can see solution information. We can actually expand this. And here we will get some more information about the latest SAP S4HANA solution package which is in this case for 2022. Let's close this again. Then we can also see the software requirements that are needed for this version, which would be, for instance, the Zapana server on the feature pack stack 00. And then, most importantly, if we navigate to solution scope, we can see that the best practices are grouped in so-called lines of businesses. So there's a line of business for finance, one for human resources, sourcing and procurement, and so on. You will always have a little description over here, and we can actually expand. Let's do it for finance. You can see there are a couple of subgroups that are logically put together. We can even go further down, and then you can see the so-called best practice items. Those items always consist of a description, and then in brackets you will see a three-character code. Before we jump into that, one more hint. Let me actually close this view over here. We can also change the view from this group perspective to a best practice perspective via this button. So now you will only see the best practices directly. Let's now jump into one. So this one I already opened. You can see accounting and financial close J58. Here the description, this scope item provides a comprehensive overview of external accounting and accounts. We can view over here the business benefits and the key process flows, which would correspond to the applications in our Fiori launchpad. Then we can see for the country and region relevance, for which countries this scope item is relevant. And then most importantly, you can see on the details section, first of all, the process flow. You can see process flow, it says here two times because one is like a basic picture and one is for BPM and two, but this is kind of more or less the same. It's just another way of displaying. Let me actually show this. And here we are able to see the process flow of this best practice. So in this case, for accounting and financial close, including all the necessitated steps from maintaining master data up until the synchronization of general ledger account master data. Going back, we also have the test script. Let's open this in another tab. You can see it downloaded over here as a Word file. And over here, you can now see the test script. So what you normally would do is go through the test script it always is kind of the same. You can see this is a very big test script. So it starts with the purpose. And once the scope item is activated, we can actually test this 
in the system with this test script. Then we have here kind of prerequisites. So we got system access that will be required. And we also need to have those particular roles here assigned to our user. Then we always have master data and organizational data. So test data we utilize to test the processes and then some preliminary steps and also some process steps to follow. So basically what we do is we follow them one by one. For instance, here we open the application migrate financial statement versions to global hierarchy. And then we can follow this through on our Fiori launchpad. Going back, you can also see that for some, but not all of the best practices, we have a so-called task tutorial. Let's actually open this. And here we'll find a guided tour of what we need to do to test the process. So we can click on one of those videos. You can see that this is even more sophisticated. Let's click on managing GL account master data. Now we click on start a tutorial and then we will have an interactive tour. So let's actually skip a couple of steps. You can see to open the app, select the manager solution tiles and I can actually click on this tile now and will be forwarded. So this really shows us in an interactive way how to configure this best practice. Yeah, and that's basically it for a first overview about the best practice explorer. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.